Had the chance to open the scoring. Joe Gormley looked like he was about to put the ball in the net, but the Glentorn defence recovered to force a corner. With just 10 minutes gone, Gormley had another opportunity to open the scoring after he raced on to Barry Johnson's through ball, but with just Elliot Morris to beat, he failed to hit the target. The visitors did have the ball in the back of the net, but referee Arnold Hunter ruled Chris Curran's effort out for a handball in the build-up. Cliftonville were piling on the pressure and the Glens Horn defence had to stand firm to block Jimmy McGovern's header on the line. With just over a half hour played, the North Belfast side thought they grabbed the opener. But Liam Boyce could only watch on as his effort came back off the underside of the ball. Five minutes later, it was Glen Torn's turn to hit the woodwork. Curtis Allen's cross caught Connor Devlin out, but the Reds keeper could breathe a sigh of relief as the post came to his rescue. Early in the second half, Cliftonville went route one. Liam Boyce got on the end of Devlin's long ball, but he spurned the chance to put his side ahead. The champions threatened again from another long ball from Devlin. Substitute Stephen Garrett fired the ball across the face of goal, but no one could get on the end of it. Glen's Horn's best chance in the second half came from a Stephen McAlone free kick. Just before the final whistle, Cliftonville had the chance to win it. Elliot Morris had to be alert to deny Liam Boyce. Two dozen opportunities or more between the top two today and not a goal in sight. <clears throat> but we did have some, and not least at the meeting of Dungan and Swifts and Balna Mallard United.